Empire State Building. V100. Happy International Women's yes. Month. I'm Crystal Rosas. We have Maxwell. What up, this what up, what up? Z100, and we have a very special entrepreneur with us yeah. in the building. Please give it up for Janie's from Janie's Life Changing Baked Goods. Woo! What up, yo? What's up? I good mean, to be here. Where do we even start? I know. <laughs> I find you. I kind of want to start from the beginning, but we obviously want to share and show off your accolades from. Everyone that has been eating your very unique cookies, I and mean, we've we've seen them all over, right, Max? Yeah. Oh, dude. Um, well, we're gonna we're gonna talk about what the the PCC is. Yeah. We're gonna talk about the fact that when we go online now, we're hit with um, a, a, a giant billboard <laughs> that says, "Please be patient because hey. uh, they are on back order." Because I mean, dust my shoulder off. You know what I'm saying? Andy Cohen and Today Show and all. Okay, but okay. no, all these things are coming to you because they're deserved, and it and it starts with the hard work and the dedication and the drive that started from a very very unique story. So. Uh, share it. Feel free yeah, to share sure. it. Yeah, sure. First of all, I love how you have the lingo down. The PCC. <laughs> Some of my employees still are like, what's a PCC? And I'm like, out with it. Um, I got you. But yeah, I started the business in 2015. And right before that, I had been homeless and penniless due to addiction and alcoholism. Yeah. And so I found that, you know, like most people in recovery who are early in sobriety, like I was just a shell of a person. I had no self-esteem, no sort of self-love, like just no, I had no idea who Janie was and yeah. what Janie wanted. And so I was sort of like forced to like, if I was going to live a life of meaning and purpose to like figure out who Janie was. And mm. like baking was something that in early sobriety was like an act of like meditative self-care and an artistic outlet. And like we all love, I mean, you guys, you guys are here because you need an oh. artistic outlet. Oh, so 100%. That was, yeah, yeah. So that was mine. So well, I, I do want to hit on that for a second. Thank you yeah. so much for being so open and vulnerable with your past with addiction and homelessness. And I think it's really important to talk about that because there's so many people probably listening to that are struggling with that in their own sense. From you coming from that, what do you think, like what and how can the problem be addressed and what does it take for someone in your situation to be helped out of that? Yeah, sure. Well, first of all, unfortunately, it's like unless you want to get sober, like you're not going to get sober. I couldn't yeah. get sober. There are so many people in my life who are like, you need to get sober. We love you, but it hurts to be I around you. Definitely. But I could not get sober without wanting to get sober. But second of all, like you said, like I think it's so stigmatized and like people are like, just stop drinking. Just stop taking yeah, drugs. It's so like easy get your life like, together, yeah. right? No, of course, you have a smile. Exactly. Oh, yeah. Like just be happy, <laughs> you know? And it's like for me, like I think I was born an addict. Like just like the, the things that made me want to drink and take drugs to get out of myself were like things yeah. that I felt at a young age. And so like I think that's like the main thing is that it's like it's a mental illness, right? And and I think society doesn't quite. I think we're getting better and better yes, with all for sure. celebrities like yeah. opening up. So. Well, for you to find this to be your passion and for you to find that baking was, uh, a, like you said, a sense of a meditative, uh, you know, s state in, in uh, a, a form of recovery. How special is it to see what you feel in your heart is is something that's so true to you become something that is so it, it's connecting the, the globe, the world It's connecting and, and touching so many people because of the product that you're putting out. It's like absurd. Earth. Like you're saying this right now. A friend was asking me earlier. She's like, do you ever wake up and be like, oh, my God, I own a business. And it's like you're saying that to me right now. And I'm still like, oh, my God, I can't like it's still disconnect. Still clicking. Yeah. So it's it's incredible. Like I get to food is love. Right. Yep. Like You said mm -hmm. it connects us all. So it's like I get to wake up every day doing something that's like 100 percent mine. Wow. Something that like came out of a hobby. Right. And a passion and a love. And that like I get to help people by sharing my story. And I get emails, like you said, from all over the country. Uh. Being like you're helping me. You're helping my daughter like yes Aww. keep up the good fight so oh, dude, i have chills so cool. <laughs> dude, I'm getting chills also i mean it's just it's so amazing to hear that story to know that um you know your uh, what, what you're doing to help yourself is in tune helping others and there's no greater feeling than that yeah plus it tastes good oh, yeah, yeah. yeah i brought you cookies <laughs> so I to, get to that because yeah. such a unique idea and concept of pie crust cookies i mean yeah. when my abuelita makes cheesecakes or her different types of pasteles. I love the the crunchy. The crunchy the at the outer, end. Like, always the edges. Yes. Yep. So yep. Wh what made you think of this idea and like how did that all start? Yeah, so I, I had been in business for a little while and I was doing like custom cakes, like Dora the Explorer birthday cakes and that Serious? type of stuff. Yeah, like so real you can like, make, like SpongeBob out of fondant? <laughs> yes, oh exactly, yeah. exactly. Oh, yeah. Not anymore. Not we're all Packers cookies now, but that that was in the that was once upon a bad bunny cake. <laughs> right, exactly. <laughs> 
Um, but a friend of mine kept being like, he'd come up with all these absurd ideas, and I'd be like, that's not like, yeah, yeah no, you not can't it. do that. Yeah, not it. <laughs> he kept talking about a pie crust cookie, and I'd be like, what is that? And he'd be like, oh. I don't know, but it sure sounds really good. And I was like, it actually does sound good. Oh. And it made me sort of like break down, like, what's my favorite part of the pie? The pie crust, right? And like, you know, I like just the little filling. I'm not a fruit girl. Like, I'm not a cooked fruit girl. And then, Got like, it. I love streusel on top of a pie. Oh, so damn. put all three of those textures yeah. together into, like, a little, everybody wants to hold their treat, like, have their own, not share it, you know. So that's how the pie crust cookie came up. And it's, like, each bite is, like, you get the flaky, crunchy pie crust. You get the chewy, like, gooey filling. Oh, and then yes. you get the crumbly streusel. So. Oh. Um, yeah. Can we take a look? Ooh. Yeah, yeah. Look? yeah. Really? There's really? like she I got, got, she got some like, snacks in. Like, yeah, no, for no, real. No, no, no. Yeah. So <laughs> I need to taste no, this. No, 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 Put it no, in no, my no, mouth. No. <laughs> you want to look at it? Or I... Yeah. I brought you guys, so I got you the boxed version because that's what we sell online. But then in here, in the big pink box, it's like what we sell at our bakery. So, so it's like right, the so freshest. Christmas, she's yeah. digging in. Yeah. Dig into the. Dig into the. Yeah. Choose what I want. No, yeah, you go first. Go, go into first. The, the one underneath, the pink box at the bottom. Because oh, okay. that's Man. what's like fresh out of so the these oven. are the packaged ones, and you have the triple berry. Oh, my gosh. And the chocolate. Oh, this is so cool. Uh, and it says, handmade with love and NYC. Yeah, of course. Yeah. Yeah. So for, for this, and as we open into these boxes of the, the pre-package and the, the ones that you have here, the brick and mortar. Yeah. It's obviously, it was a pivot that had to be oh made during the pandemic. Speak yeah. To um, yeah, to being an entrepreneur and and knowing that yo, we can either um, crumble, no pun intended, or we can okay. really we can really you know pull ourselves up by the bootstraps and, and make this thing happen. Yeah, it was like one opportunity after another, and and really like I credit like all our pivots to my customers. Awesome. When I in 2019, we were mostly doing like wholesale and like fairs, right? Yeah. Like you know, Showing Queen's Night Market. market. Like, exactly. So it was yeah. like a real hustle for me back then. It was me and one other employee and it was such a hustle. And then pandemic hit and I'm like, I can't, like we were supposed to launch in all these grocery stores and it's like, you uh, know, I, I don't know if we curse here, but like yeah, all those yeah. expletives, oh, yeah, right? I mean, it, it, it hit the fan. <laughs> yeah, it's like, exactly. <laughs> so it was like, what do we do? Like, you know, I heard the word furlough over and over, but I kept getting customers. I'd never really tapped into e-commerce and I kept getting customers be wow. like, how can we support you? How can we literally keep your ovens running? And I was working in a shared commercial kitchen, and I was like, let me figure out how to sell these online. And so about a month after, you know, COVID started, we oh. launched an online business. And it's been like, I I mean, we would have never had the opportunity to make that pivot. Yeah. Um, and so I'm, like, really grateful. That's, like, one beautiful thing that's come out of this. And it really was from customers being like, we want to order your product. We want to send it to people. And so it's just been that's been such a blessing for our business. And then that kind of dies down, right? Yeah. Because – we're in this we're for a now. long time, yep. you know, and for real sure. estate prices got really good and we were outgrowing our own commercial kitchen. And so we were able to sort of find this like quirky little weird storefront on the Upper West Side where I'm from. So yep. it felt like hey. home for like a great price that had a kitchen in the back. And so we sort of were like, OK, we're already outgrowing this. Let's like move production over there and, and maybe one person will walk in the door and buy cookies and it's been like yeah. non-stop. Yeah. yeah, it's so. not just one, it's one person yeah, after, the other, yeah. after the other. And it's been seven months so I feel like, you know, the numbers that people were like, maybe you'll hit this in a couple of years like we've been getting to right mm. away. So it's been like a real blessing. It's been so incredible to see such a power of like community and like seeing how people show up for small Gosh, business. So. It's so great to hear that because we do hear different stories of the pandemic. We hear where, you know, all of us at what point kind of hit rock bottom. Yeah. But then what did you do with that? How did you continue to succeed from that? So it's so great to hear. And we have yeah. the. Um, yeah, I mean, go ahead. You, we you have choose these first. here. Oh, snap. Yeah, it's, oh, the crumble. Explain oh what my, these are, oh please. Yeah. So gosh. I we have like I had my employee uh. put together a whole bunch of different flavors. I don't know. I mean, there's there's just goodness in this pink box here. And then yeah, those exactly. Ones, pie crust those are my bites. favorite. That's what we make with the scraps of the pie crust. They're like <laughs> addictive. Oh, scraps, yeah, yeah they're so good. That's that's. It's not an actual pie crust cookie, but it's my favorite thing. Now, um, as we get ready to sink our teeth in this, uh, a couple of more questions about um, being an entrepreneur, uh, being a mentor, finding those uh, who look up to you, but you also. It's a pretty unique hiring process yeah. at Janie's. Uh, please explain to, to everyone listening, like, what's so special and unique about those who you bring in to be a part of your family? Sure. So it all started, you know, I was 25 when I got sober and yeah. I had, like, no resume. And it was so overwhelming being, it, that's not old, right? But it's kind of old to enter, like, a the job market. For sure, no for sure. Resume. 
And so I was like, I worked as a nanny for a while and a superintendent in the East Village and had no like actual practical job experience. And so figuring out what I wanted to do with my life without a resume, without any sort of like actual work experience was so overwhelming and so daunting. And it was like I was paralyzed trying yeah. to figure out like how to enter the workforce. Um, and so, you know, I think about like I, I got to start this business like being a nanny, right? Yeah. Super. <laughs> and it's like, you know, why? And I I am like a the hardest worker you will ever meet. So why wouldn't other people with no resume, no job experience Be want the to, same opportunity yes. that I was given over and over by my customers at the beginning? Mm. And so, you know, for me, it's like it's been a little challenging. But when uh, when we have a job open and, and, you know, I started like in for context, like three, seven months ago, I had three employees and now I have 17. So it's been Gosh, wow. so quick. Ugh. But uh, like, uh, if uh, you want a job and you're ready, willing and able to show up to work and be excited to be there, go. like you got the job, yeah. you know, and, and none of my, I didn't go to culinary school. Like I didn't go to business school. I'm here today. Right. And so why can't like every other person who walks in the door, just giving people the opportunity. And um, and yeah, and, and letting them prove to you that uh, that you trusted and you believed in your um, in your heart that you were a good judge of character. And, and now you have these uh, these these family members that are that are there that are gonna be there and um, that are gonna hopefully not Munch eat all some. the scraps. <laughs> well, yeah. Speaking of the family members, yeah. what does your family and friends say about all the success you've had? Seeing your products and your face on shows like Andy Cohen and the Today Show. Yeah, well, yeah I know. That. Does your phone still blow up? Yeah, <laughs> I walked. I actually walked into my boyfriend's mom's house the other day, and she was watching Andy Cohen that episode with like no her nieces, <laughs> and I had never seen the episode, and I was like, oh my god, like don't. <laughs> <laughs> but it's like it's so surreal. I think when I started the business, they were like, "Oh, here's Janie doing her baking thing, yeah, you know, like sure. make a bake sale, whatever." Like I, I don't think there was like a lot of a lot. That's not true. Most but, of my friends were like, "You do this, like you sure. got this." For but sure. I think some people, but still, folks might think, you know, it's a hobby. It's, it's a oh, hobby. Here she is. Let's support yeah, something. I got that's a lot of like yes. little. I mean, this is important. Like on women, uh, yeah. you know, this this month, like I got a lot of people being like, "Oh, your little business," and yeah. like using like sort of like words that minimize the unconscious like, what bias. Exactly. That we were talking about exactly. Exactly. Uh -huh. But I think, I mean, my family's so proud. Like, they, <sighs> wow. you know, my friends are just like, I don't know. Like, it's just, I'm so lucky. I've got such a, like, amazing village around me. So, Dude. Yes. Um, Congratulations. What, on what, what's what's Andy Cohen like in real life, though? I mean, how many of those cookies did he eat? You he's know what I'm so freaking he, nice. Yeah. <laughs> he is like the whatever. Like, I didn't know much about Andy Cohen, but he's the nicest guy. The poor PA during, like, commercial breaks were yeah. having to, like, wipe crumbs off the set because he was like... <laughs> He loved the cookies. He was the sweetest guy. Well, I owe um, so much to. Well, I mean, like, Kathleen Hody were like, you, I mean, you, you're chilling on chopped. Like, you know what I'm saying? How is this all this stuff? I mean, you know, what's going on? Uh, how, how proud are you of yourself to be able to step up to the plate in these moments to deliver, to prove that, you know, not only does the product speak for itself, but the hard work and years of, uh, of dedication are paying off? It's crazy. I, you know, I, like, when I went on chopped, I was like, if I don't lose in the first round, like, we're I'm good. golden, yeah. you know, and then I won. And yes. it's like, for me, it's like, I'm not like, I don't think of myself as like a TV personality yeah. or like great on camera or anything. But it's like, I just am like, I just say yes, right? Oh, I say yeah. yes. I look fear in the face and I show up and You're it's like, too. it's done well. So You're I, doing you. Yeah, exactly. I mean, that, exactly. I haven't had to hire a PR person, which is like so absurd to me <laughs> that like, I'm like, oh, people actually want to talk to me. Yeah, like, yeah. We also so, want to take a bite of these. I yeah. Can't yeah. Yeah. You got yeah. Yeah. Take a bite, Crystal. Come on. So Bust into that box there. Thank you. Do you have any Appreciate allergies? That. No. Yeah, no, just, no, just gross food. No, yeah, yeah that's only it's allergy. Really and this is not. It's <laughs> annoying me. She said. And this, oh, I'm going straight for the. This looks like it's a blueberry. It's triple berry, probably. Triple yeah, it's got oh, blueberries. Dear. All right. Oh, my gosh. Right, right. Yeah. Oh, it is crunchy. <laughs> yeah, it's all different. Like, it's got the all text, the textures. Like, yeah. Oh, it really does taste like they got the crunch of the pie yeah, and then just shoved yeah. it together as a cookie. Yeah, I want no soggy pie. No. You know? no. no soggy pie. Damn. Yeah. Right, no, David. Yeah. yeah, come on. Behind, David, behind David, the scenes. Yeah. <laughs> Jenny, you want to pick one of your favorites? I don't know if you want to have a snack, too. You yeah, yeah. yeah. Do you got you in a second. See. I think this is. Oh, There's man. a pumpkin right there. Oh, good lord. I Crystal. Think. No, these are this so good. Pumpkin. This is so oh, cracking. Oh, no, maybe that's passion pineapple. This is so cracking. Wow. All right, so as we stuff our face, yeah. we're these delicious treats, and we're sitting here being greedy, but for, because um, I, I know my mom is, is and you're probably, your mom and dad are probably listening to, yeah. how, do we, how do we make sure that we can 
Oh, my God. Yeah, send these to our families. Yes. Because yeah. yeah. we need to try these Damn. for sure. So we've been yeah. backordered for four months. But as of the end of this so week, amazing. knock on wood, there's oh. no wood here. But any unless no. there's, like, some unforeseeable craziness, we'll be done with our back orders. So we're wow. going to open, like, limited ordering weekly and just sell what we can make that week and do it every week. So get on our wait list, sign up for our email list, follow us on Instagram, and every week we'll drop new cookies. Exclusive. So when that drop comes, you better be ready at the computer. Yeah. Right, right, right exactly. Like, yeah, yeah, right. I know. It's like, or visit us on the Upper West Side, 212 West 80th. We always have cookies. We love talking to you. My uh. employees are like, the sweetest. I am. So. These are truly life changing. Yeah, thank, thank you. Thank you. Thank oh. you so much for hanging out. Thank you Ooh. for everything you're doing for women and men that have been in situations like you. Thank you for being so vulnerable with us. And just congratulations on everything you've been doing. We can tell from Y'all eating this. We can on. tell <laughs> hearing you oh, that man. it's just it. It's really deserving of your success. So thank you so much for sliding through. It's been a pleasure being here. I grew up with this station, so it's such an honor to be here. Yeah. Thank you, Jamie. Thank you. From the top of the Empire State Building. C100.